The XFL is back and there are even more recognizable players than before and we're going to make sure you know everything you need to know about the league's biggest names. Now, there are a few quarterbacks with some former NFL experience, but none have been memed more than Ben DiNucci. He played college football at JMU before he was drafted in the seventh round of the 2020 NFL Draft by the Dallas Cowboys. He appeared in three games for the Cowboys as a rookie, completing 23 of 43 passes for 219 yards, no touchdowns, and two interceptions. He did also rush for 22 yards on five attempts. Danucci was waived a few times by Dallas, but he will have a chance to prove himself in the XFL after being selected by the Seattle Sea Dragons. You may remember Aaron Rodgers' old backup, Brett Huntley, who attended UCLA before he was selected in the fifth round of the 2015 NFL Draft by the Green Bay Packers. Huntley spent three seasons with the Packers, primarily serving as the backup quarterback before he was traded to the Seattle Seahawks in 2018. He then signed with the Arizona Cardinals in 2019, where he played in three games as a backup quarterback. He hasn't played an NFL snap since, but he has bounced around a bit and most recently was on the Ravens practice squad last season. He recently signed with the Vegas Vipers. Another pretty recent NFL quarterback, A.J. McCarron. McCarron played his college ball at Alabama before going in the fifth round of the 2014 NFL Draft to the Cincinnati Bengals. McCarron spent four seasons with the Bengals, mainly as a backup quarterback, before signing with the Buffalo Bills in 2018. He also spent time with the Oakland Raiders, Houston Texans, and most recently, the Atlanta Falcons, but that ended a complete disaster after he tore his ACL in the preseason. He was assigned to the St. Louis Battlehawks. So, if you've been a fan of spring football leagues in the past, you may remember Kyle Sloter. He played at Northern Colorado before going undrafted in the 2017 NFL Draft, and he signed with the Denver Broncos as an undrafted free agent. Sloter spent his rookie season on the Broncos practice squad before being waived in 2018. He then signed with the Minnesota Vikings, where he spent the next two seasons as a backup quarterback. Sloter played in the USFL where he had the second most passing yards in the league. He was selected by the Arlington Renegades in the 2023 XFL Draft. Jordan Tayamu is back in the XFL after he was one of the best quarterbacks in the 2020 XFL. Tayamu played at Ole Miss before he went undrafted in 2019 and signed with the Houston Texans as an undrafted free agent. He was waived by the Texans during the preseason and then signed with the St. Louis Battlehawks. Tiamu was one of the XFL's top quarterbacks, completing 72% of his passes for 1,050 yards, five touchdowns, and two interceptions, and rushing for 217 yards and one touchdown. After the XFL season was canceled due to COVID-19, Tiamu signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. He spent the 2020 season on the Chiefs practice squad and was waived in 2021. Tiamu then signed with the Washington football team and had a brief stint with the Carolina Panthers. Tiamu played in the USFL, led the league in both passing yards and touchdowns, and he was recently assigned to the DC Defenders. Paxton Lynch was once supposed to be the savior for the Broncos, but he'll hit the field in the XFL now. He was drafted in the first round of the 2016 NFL Draft by the Denver Broncos after his time at Memphis. Lynch spent two seasons in Denver, starting four games before being released in 2018. That is a classic bus story. He then signed with the Seattle Seahawks, but was released before the start of the 2019 season. Lynch spent time with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2020, but did not appear in any games. He had a short stint in the Canadian Football League, then played in the USFL last year, where he started three games before suffering a leg injury. Lynch is slated to play for the Orlando Guardians after signing with the team. 
Perhaps the biggest name in the league is not a quarterback, it's Josh Gordon. Gordon played at Baylor before he was drafted in the second round of the 2012 NFL Supplemental Draft by the Cleveland Browns. Gordon had a very difficult career. He had multiple suspensions for violating the NFL's substance abuse policy. He did accumulate 4,200 yards and 21 touchdowns when he was on the field, and he was good. He was a first-team All-Pro and Pro Bowler after he led the league in receiving yards in 2013. Now, he's tried to make a comeback with the New England Patriots, Seattle Seahawks, Tennessee Titans, and most recently, the Kansas City Chiefs. Gordon has also appeared in fan-controlled football back in 2021, but he was just taken in the sixth round of the 2023 XFL Supplemental Draft. The XFL serves as another chance for Martavius Bryant as well. Bryant played at Clemson before being drafted in the fourth round of the 2014 NFL Draft by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bryant spent three seasons with the Steelers, primarily serving as a deep threat before being traded to the Oakland Raiders in 2018. He was then released by the Raiders after he faced a potential one-year suspension from the league for violating the league's substance abuse policy, and he was later suspended indefinitely after he violated his conditional reinstatement. Bryant spent time in the Canadian Football League and fan-controlled football before being the fifth pick in the XFL Skills Players Draft to the Vegas Vipers. Another notable name is Cody Latimer, who played at Indiana before being a Denver Broncos second-round pick at the 2014 NFL Draft. Latimer spent four seasons with the Broncos, mainly as a backup receiver and special teams guy. Before he signed with the Giants in 2018, he played two seasons with the Giants, but he was released in 2020. Latimer was then signed with the Washington football team, but he was released before the season. He was then selected in the 11th round of the XFL Skills Players Draft by the Orlando Guardians, and he's actually listed as a tight end. The last very notable wide receiver is Hakeem Butler. He played at Iowa State. He was drafted in the fourth round of the 2019 NFL Draft by the Arizona Cardinals. Butler spent his entire rookie season on injured reserve after suffering a hand injury in the preseason. He was waived by the Cardinals in 2020 and signed to the Carolina Panthers practice squad, but was released after just two weeks. Butler had a stint with the Eagles before spending some time in the Canadian Football League. He was taken in the fifth round of the 2020. 23 XFL Supplemental Draft by the St. Louis Battlehawks. A recent familiar running back named Kalen Balaj is also in the XFL. He played at Arizona State before he was drafted in the fourth round of the 2018 NFL Draft by the Dolphins. Balaj spent two seasons with the Dolphins, mainly as a backup running back and special teams guy. He appeared in 24 games in Miami, rushing for 326 yards and three touchdowns on 110 carries. Balaz was traded to the Jets in 2020, but was released before the start of the season. He then signed with the Chargers, where he played in 11 games as a backup running back, rushing for 290 yards and three touchdowns. He last spent time with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2021, and Balaz was taken in the sixth round of the XFL Draft by the San Antonio Paramas. Finally, a few quick names on the defensive side of the ball. Maybe not as sexy, but players you may know. Matt Elam, who was a 2013 first-round pick of the Baltimore Ravens after his time at Florida. He spent three seasons with the Ravens, mainly as a backup safety, before he was released in 2017. He had plenty of issues of his own when he was in the pros. He tried making a comeback in the Canadian Football League, but was released after one season. Elam played in the 2020 XFL and spent time in the Indoor Football League, actually. He was taken in the 11th round of the XFL defense defensive back draft by the Orlando Guardians. Now a name you're surely going to remember if you're an avid NFL fan is Vic Beasley. He was drafted in the first round of the 2015 NFL Draft by the Atlanta Falcons after his time at Clemson. Beasley spent five seasons with the Falcons, primarily as a pass rusher. He even led the NFL in sacks in 2016 with 15 and a half, but he was never the same player other than that one season. Beasley signed with the Titans in 2020, but he was released midway through the season and then signed with the Raiders, but he didn't even appear in a game. He is heading back to Vegas after he was drafted by the Vegas Vipers first overall in the XFL defensive front seven draft. The last name, and I feel like I have to include at least one special teamer, is Marquette King. 
Now, he was a punter out of Fort Valley State that was signed by the Oakland Raiders as an undrafted free agent in 2012. King ended up spending six seasons with the Raiders, and he was one of the better punters in the league. He was released in 2018 and then signed with the Denver Broncos, and he did struggle in Denver and was released in 2019. He joined the 2020 XFL, but he didn't play in a single game. He was recently selected in the XFL draft by the Arlington Renegades, and Marquette King is one of many players afforded a second chance by the XFL reboot this spring.